In this reading from David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, we continue reading from Book 1, Laying the Foundation, Chapter 2, Section 7, The World the Ego Made. Friend, did the ego make everything on this planet? What about angels or chakras or things that people consider good, higher, or spiritual. And are we really here because of our wrong-minded thoughts? Or is this a place that God wants us to be for soul growth and learning? David, the first part of that question really comes down to looking at consciousness or perception. You might say that consciousness is the domain of the ego as shared in ACIM. So all of perception, time, space, the cosmos, all specifics are a projection of the ego. So yes, the ego did make the cosmos of time and space. The ego made all all the images and symbols. We could say that in the sense that you think of angels as cherubs or as beautiful beings with big wings, these are images and they are part of the specifics of the cosmos. Again, those are made by the ego. We could talk about the seven chakras. Seven is more than one. It is a multiple number, and the specific seven chakras that are often associated with the spine and different positions on the body are again part of the ego system. The Holy Spirit is simply a purpose in the mind. This light, this remembrance, in there that uses all the specifics. It certainly uses symbols like chakras and angels in a very helpful way, loving way to bring comfort and blessing so that when the mind is frightened, it has a symbol of a helper. And certainly, Angels are a good example of that. The wrong-minded perception that we are here is part of the ego's perception of the world. You might say that God or Christ is part of abstract heaven. The realm of heaven does not really know of the realm of perception because... As the Course teaches, nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. Text Introduction 2 The Eternal is what Heaven is. It is what God is. It is what Christ is. The Ephemeral, the Phenomenal, The time-space cosmos is ever-changing and temporary and by definition is unreal. So you might say that it is a wrong-minded perception to try to bring God into the world and say that God put us here for a reason or that we are here to learn lessons that God set up to test us or anything like that because God is just pure oneness and love and abstraction. It is wrong-mindedness to believe that you are here. Jesus says in the Course that you may wonder how you can experience perfect peace while you are still in a body. He suggests to ask yourself 
who is in, who is it that is in a body? So when you get questions like that, you see that Jesus is hinting that truly you are at home in heaven right now, eternally. You are just dreaming of exile. That is what perception is all about.